afternoon. You know what this is? This is a high voltage diode to my Whirlpool microwave. Microwave stopped working and no apparent reason. It's still powered up, but it wouldn't heat anything up. So I decided to uh, check things out. And when I opened it up, I found um, this burnt diode. Now, if you go to Whirlpool, they want $60 for this diode. 60 bucks. I could have bought this whole entire microwave at Lowe's on sale right now, same model, for $200. So I didn't want to spend 60 if, I was, if it wasn't going to fix the problem. But I went on Amazon. Good old Amazon. And I found this. Well, this isn't a Whirlpool part. This is a generic part. Two for six dollars. So, what do I have to lose for six bucks? So, I went ahead and bought it. Put it in. And guess what? It works. Now, what caused the problem? Will it last? I don't know. Um, what I think happened is I'm, I'm seeing a lot of grease, oil, uh, that was coating the parts. What I think happened is from the vent, I don't know, oil, grease from uh, frying, under because this is an under the uh, microwave venting system, and it vents out through a vent through the ceiling. But I don't know if just oil is building up in the compartment and dripping down inside. Um, I found a lot of oil, and what my theory is that this part got covered in oil and shorted out and actually burned. Because you can see it's burned on the outside, the diode burned through. I think the high voltage, it's coming off the high voltage transformer, and that's what caused the, uh, the thing. That's just my theory. Um, time will tell. I mean, I stuck it in just now, and I ran it well, for a minute, heated some water, and it heated up. So I'm going to reinstall it. I've cleaned it the best I can, but here, even after letting it gravity drip for a couple days on its side, I had a whole bunch of oil on the piece of cardboard, I still, you can see, there's more oil dripping out. I've taken the whole, uh, I haven't, I didn't want to take the whole entire thing apart. So, I mean, it was easy to get to the uh, diode. All you have to do is remove the, the front cover here. And right behind this panel is the diode. It's actually, it goes to the high voltage uh, capacitor and it's one side goes to ground. So, um, no short outs, no burnouts yet. So I'm going to go ahead and install it and see what happens. But for six bucks and it works, makes me a happy man.